Okay, I know that you are excited with the, our power up. So let's um, launch it with to our player, or let's now attach or implement it to our player. So in the previous, we um, have done the prefabs and the scripts to it. So, oh no, we haven't made the script for the missile. For the missile, it will be launched in the player. So we will be attaching there a script. Let's have add component. Oh no, let's head to assets and the scripts. Let's have missile collide. Okay. Oh. Why is Mm hmm mm, power up collide ah okay this one well anyway that's the shortcut key in my recording software numpad key a and since i was opening anyway let's not have that <laughs> uh let's open the missile collide and then we're just gonna have here function void on trigger enter 2d and then call so this script will be attached to our missile so if call call dot game object the tag since um its purpose is to destroy the falling objects um which is the letters and those letters are tagged with right letter and correct letter so we're gonna destroy them both tag let's have first the right letter right letter so whenever the missile collides with the right letter we're gonna call of course we need to instant or we need to increment the score so we're gonna call this function um this one score is up let's just copy this one if the missile collides with the right letter game manager that instance dot score is up and then we're gonna destroy call that game object and we're gonna do the same in the wrong letter but the only difference is we're gonna call not the score is up Instead, we're gonna call the um, Oh no, we're not gonna call anything from it. We're just gonna simply destroy the game object. So let's just copy this one Control V, let's change the tag here wrong letter And then we're gonna delete this line of code. We're just gonna simply destroy those letters and then let's head back to our game manager let's complete now the power up shoot this will not um this will only spawn but the missile will not launch or move upwards um allow me to show it to you so prefabs we're gonna attach here missile the missile we're gonna attach here the script mm, what was the script missile collide so missile collide prefabs missile let's just lock this one and then head over to scripts and missile collide we're gonna add this as component of this missile so if you will see let's have it here okay I forgot again. We won't be able to launch this without um, an input key. Okay, so let's say we have here. Okay, we're done with that. Let's just hit Control S. Uh, right letter collide. Power up collide. Okay, here in the power up collide. Uh, so if the can power up is now set to true, we're just gonna call game no we're gonna have first the input if can power up is to true 
then we're just gonna have to call mm, not that one let's say let's have an um, if function inside it if mm, um, input dot get button button down um, we're gonna head back to our unity and let's see the uh, let's see project settings input manager and we're gonna find fire one so fire ones uh, this is this input is used whenever we want to shoot something from our player uh, so fire one the positive button or the button that we will be using is the left control key you can change this depending on your preference if you're if you want to use gamepad just like i did just like i did uh, you can change this one depending on the gamepad button so for now let's just have default left control so whenever if i press the left control button fire one will be called so we will just copy this one and head over to our script if input that get button down meaning if we press that control um fire one will be used so we're gonna have to input it or in um put it inside quotation marks fire one and then we're gonna call the function game manager the function wherein the missile will be shoot or will be instantiated power up shoot well not there dot instance dot power up shoot and there we have it and whenever we um we shoot the missile it should um decrease the value here in the ui the value of the power up ui so we're gonna call the function power up use Game manager that instance power up shoot and then game manager that instance dot power up use. So let's see. Let's see if this will work. Okay, let's check game manager. Okay, okay, we're not missing anything here. Player, let's see. Let's catch. Okay, let's catch the power up missile. Okay, there you have it. Uh, it is instantiated, and whenever we instantiate it or use it, the value here in the ui is decreasing but there is an error error here we don't have any speed or velocity attached to our missile therefore it will not go upward so to do that we're gonna add here in the power of shoot um, a velocity to the object Let's store this as a game object variable. Let's say um, game object, not the one. Game object, mm, let's say shoot missile. Okay. And then below that code or that line of code, we're gonna write shoot missile, this variable that we're gonna get its component get component and make sure that your missile has a uh, rigid body attached to it because if um if otherwise you will not be able to get the component rigid body so get component like this one rigid body rigid body for 3d so we're gonna use rigid body 2d and then open and close parentheses we're not gonna include parameters dot we're gonna access velocity velocity 
velocity is equal to nu vector 3 and those vectors are for the y, x, y, and z and a semicolon and since we're gonna launch it upward and this axis is yep we're gonna launch the missile on the y axis not on the x axis because we want it to move upward so vector 3 this is the x so we're just gonna have to make it zero and here let's make a variable for that let's say um, public float missile speed so I made it public so that whenever we are not satisfied with speed we can change it directly in the inspector panel so we're gonna access here the vari variable missile speed shoot missile okay let's see I don't know if I um, let's try if this resulted to an error maybe we should be incrementing the value so let's see it's the wrong letter. I'm not gonna catch that one okay let's have here the missile okay oh uh, yeah I know we haven't add the value here zero missile speed let's say um five okay let's try a we're not gonna catch that one there's the missile let's say okay there you have it and it's too slow Okay, so whenever it collides with the letter S or the letter A and letter M, that game object will be destroyed. So we can just add speed here. Um, game manager, let's make it, let's say 10. Let's see. Let's catch the correct letter and the score increments. The missile. Let's catch the missile. And let's launch this one. Boom, boom. There you have it. And that is the power up for our game. And we and it seems that we're missing something. And that something is the audio. So this was the audio that I selected based on my preference. So let's just drag it in our um, scene. Yep. Um, not, let's not select play on awake. Instead, uh, we're gonna have here in the game manager. Um, uh, not, not on the game manager. Power up collide. Mm, if input get button down power up shoot power up use we need the audio to be played so we're gonna have here um, a public audio source audio source um, power up not power up let's say missile missile launch and then here whenever we fire the missile um, we're gonna play uh, missile launch that play let's see mm. let's see if that will work I hope it will work oh I know um i do predict that this will not work where's the script for the no not the script the prefab the power up collide not that one maybe it's in the, yeah it's in the player here i guess it will work let's see let's drag the audio and then let's hit play 
can see if the power up will have its audio. Okay, let's try. Okay, there you have it. Uh, well, you can add um, an audio whenever it collides. If you want, you can just simply download the audio that you want and then head over to your uh, missile collide and you can just have the you can just declare here public audio source and whenever it um, it collides with the right letter or the wrong letter that audio will be played so that you will have like um, an explosion effect so that's it for our power up um, I'm still thinking if we're missing something. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're missing something. Uh, we need to uh, set the value again. Can power up to false. So here, whenever it catches the missile power up activator, which falls at a repeat rate time in our game, um, the can power up is set to true. And then when that can power up is true, we can shoot a missile but what if um let's say we have here um uh, you will see it here let's catch a missile once okay let's get that once so here we have a value of one so meaning we can only shoot one missile but what if I tell you that we can shoot multiple missiles and there you have it and we don't want that and as you can see the UI value for the missile power up is now negative and that will be considered as bug especially if your gamers are aware of the term or the concept bug so to do that we're gonna set again the can power up into false given a condition so here in the update function, we need to access this variable power up. Since this is the value that we are incrementing and decreasing whenever it is used, incrementing whenever we catch the power up activator. So let's go back to our power up collide and we're going to have uh, if, um, if you want to access the variable from the game manager, simply type game manager. Um, manager that instance dot the name of the variable make sure it is declared publicly so that you can access it power up power up power up is equal to or let's say less not less than is equal to zero can power up is now back to false so that whenever the value of the ui or the power up value is zero the player will not be allowed to launch the missile unlike what we did before or a while ago that if the value or whenever the can power up is activated to true we can shoot multiple missiles and we don't want that in that game because that will not be normal Let's have it here. Let's catch the M. Okay, let's catch the missile. So, meaning we only have one missile. That so hit the control button and hit the control button again. Okay, that is a negative. Uh, seems to be we haven't compiled this one. Control S. Okay, yeah, that was our mistake. We didn't save the script. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, here's the power up. So one, you can only shoot one. Let's hit the control button one. Let's hit it again. Let's see if we can still shoot. And there we have it. I'm hitting the control button multiple times and it's not um launching any missile unlike before so in summary we only access or change 
um, or add values in our game manager for the power up and three functions for it. And then we added two scripts, which is the power up collide, uh, meaning the power up that will this or this script is attached to our player, enabling it to launch a missile and um, have these conditions. And on our missile, we need to have a missile collide so that it can destroy the letters. So that's it, Techians for the power up. So for the next video, we will be um, checking the game for this level, the level one, and see if we are if we are still missing something to it, if we still need to add in some context or in some part of it, and then if otherwise, uh, we will now be proceeding to level two and three. So that's it for this video.